Okay, welcome to 365 SBS, episode 76, The Losing Game. Let me get my Bible here, because i got to tell you, I went to church Sunday, just to prove it, here's the program. That's right, you're seeing it right, that's the program. It turns out, God's a big fan of sex, how do you like that? I mean, he invented it, designed it, promotes it. He's a big fan. I learned a lot. So, and in fact, let me just read you a verse. Turns out there's more verses in the Bible about sex than there is about puppy dogs and bright balloons and candy canes and butterflies. So take that, Hallmark. Woo! Here we go. Look at this. Right from the get-go. Genesis 2, 24. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and now listen to this shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh so it doesn't take a genius to figure out with all the cleavage and the one flesh i mean what can i say i'm just reading the book and there's more there there's a lot of deep theology involved in the whole thing but this isn't the time or place to discuss all that but it's it's a pretty interesting series we had speaking of biblical things did you know I've just been noticing a lot of things in the news, like they call this flood down in uh, South Carolina, the thousand year flood. Sounds pretty millennial, don't you think? I think so. And what's the other thing I was thinking about? Oh, I was thinking about all these martyrs. It seems like if you want to be a martyr nowadays, you don't have to go to the Middle East and fight ISIS. You can just go to try and get a degree in an American college somewhere and you can be a Christian martyr. How do you like that? Might be the end, the end might be near, nearer than we think. In, in fact, it, I tell you what, today's show is called The Losing Game, and the Browns almost didn't lose a game, and you know that means the apocalypse is on the way. But it, it did turn out to be the, their standard practice of turning into a Greek tragedy. In case you didn't under, in case you didn't follow the game like you should if you're a Brownies fan. Here's how it went down. Back and forth, they were looking pretty good. I mean, it was strange. Their offense was all right. It got down to the last two seconds, and it looked like it was going into overtime, but no, because the bad guys, formerly known as the San Diego Chargers, were about to kick a field goal and win, and there you go. Two seconds, all done. But what happened? They kicked that field goal and it missed. Unbelievable. This can't be the way. And it wasn't. Because our team, the good guys, the Browns, were offsides. So they get to do it again. And of course, this time it went per script, went right through, and we lose. Hello, Brownies. So I feel all right now. Things are back on their normal course. But speaking of losing, oh man, these transitions are so smooth I can hardly stand it. Speaking of losing, the losing game, that's the song I'm going to do today. I'm going to try and rip it off live here. I don't do that too often because I don't have much time to practice these songs. I get so many, my schedule, it's pretty busy, but I, I think I can do it. And I might have used this picture before. I don't know, is that in the screen pretty good? I think it is. You got... Let's see, who's the white guy? Yeah, yeah, it's the guy and the gal. And they're, they kind of slipped out of God's design for a mutually satisfying sexual relationship. And you can tell they're thinking about stuff. And I say, I might have used that picture before, but it's perfect for this song. So I'm going to do it anyway. It's called The Losing Game. Been. I love her 
losing game. I walk the floor. She cries on the cold. He drives. Sad story all over again. Everybody's playing, but no one wins tonight. Loves the losing game. the losing game. Let's just take a quick glance at these losers. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. You can tell they're, they're thinking about the problems. But eventually it's all going to work out. Maybe you should lighten up on that a little bit. And that. And that. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, there's the pose. And we're going to just call it a child for now. Hashtag GBE over now, Dunsville, USA.